Good morning, warriors. It's Lisa Wolf here, and today is Transparent Tuesday. And on Transparent Tuesday, um, since our theme this week is about um, the weight vow, and some of you may get this and some of you may not, but the thing I want to be transparent um, with you today is your history um, and why... Uh, and with my history, uh, it's not all rainbows and lollipops. It, it's going to hit home to some of you. And I'm just going to keep this short and simple. And I did not want to discuss this, but um, my divine power is saying, no, you need to get um, this word out and you have to release it to people. Okay, so my thing is, is why do women cheat or why do people cheat in the first place not just women I, i'm coming from a woman's standpoint um but i don't know really a man's standpoint but a woman's standpoint is it, it has nothing to do with love it has nothing to do um 99.999 percent of it has nothing to do with sex it has absolutely nothing to do with sex um the reason why i cheated and decided to not be involved in relationships for years was because one was about intimacy um sex can cover so many things deep within you that can distract the other person or distract even you so you don't have to um, expose yourself to the real you because there are people that don't need to know the real you. And some people might be like a little confused about that right now. But I'm just telling you from experience, you don't need to share yourself with everybody. And I had to learn the hard way. And a lot of it is too, is reason number two why people cheat is there's a lack of respect. You can say res lack of respect for the other person or whatever, but those are just excuses. The true reason is that you lack respect for yourself. And I can say that because I know with the healing process and, um, redeem, uh, and having my divine power redeem me, from my past um that's what a lot of it stemmed from it was the root of not respecting myself not seeing that I was worthy um and it seeps through through your other relationships and um three is um a lot of it has to do with the person and you can blame it on the your childhood. You can blame it on the person that you chose to be in a relationship or get married to. But the main thing is, too, is that uh, you have a root in you that needs to be unlearned. And on um, you have to un, uh, use it. Because you're just going to use that excuse and that hurt just to establish the reasons why you, you are doing the things that you're doing. And healing is one of the major things because I uh, would avoid healing and, and taking an accountability on myself. I would blame other people. And that's not um, that's not a way to heal and be healthy. 
And so I would go to relationship to relationship to relationship without getting that root cause why I was doing the things I was doing. And even when I found those causes, I, I can laugh about it now. It's not a funny matter, but like for me, I... I look back now and it, and it's like ridiculous, like the things that I did. And I was feeling guilty and ashamed of my true feelings. And I knew I should have ended the relationship way before it even got started. And, um, and that's what I've learned through these lessons in life. And... You can use all those other excuses to disguise the pain. But if you don't take the time and expose the pain and actually grow through it instead of just saying, oh, it happened. Uh, I'm just going to sweep it under the rug and and not deal with it until later, until you're either in a relationship or you're trying to heal and you feel guilty and ashamed and you start condemning yourself. And the, the whole point of it is getting to that root and finding and, and and I'm not sugarcoating the the cheating and, and the adultery and stuff. It, don't get me wrong on that. It causes so much pain for the other person, too. And. But the other person, too, needs to take a deep look at themselves, too, and be like, why did I allow... A lot of times, it's um, a lot of blame game. And the thing is, is that um, we all need to get down to the root of it. And a lot of it has to do with pride. Each one of us has so much pride and ego in us. That when situations of the unknown happen, those things are exposed. And like with COVID, it exposes people. It's an infection, a virus that there's not, nothing that you can do about it. You just have to go through it. And a lot of people are like, why is she even talking about this or whatever? It, it's part of a healing process process and I've, I've just been seeing a lot of marriages and relationships or situationships start happening and it's a perfect um, catalyst for it because people are lonely, people are isolated, people are actually um, like, I, I pray for the marriages because um, it's exposing, like, things and flaws of people that that you truly love and care about um, to the max. And it's these things that you can't avoid. You can't avoid it. And that's the only thing that I, I, I want to say I regret, but, like, I wish before I even did that. I wish I would have talked to him at that time and just like ended it because it was at the point where I, I kind of just uh, stood by him because I didn't want to admit that I have I had failed and I failed as a wife because I didn't even know how to be a wife. I didn't know what marriage really was. And I'm not beating myself about it, but I wanted to share what I've gone through to somebody else. And it has changed my perspective on, on a lot of things. And that's why I'm doing everything more intentional because I don't, I don't want anybody um, to go through something that's not even necessary to go through. Especially if you're being 
intentional. And I, I've been uh, convicted of this and there's a reason why my divine power, which is God, has had me speak about this because there's a lot of men and women out there that are hurting and and they just need to um, just, this is a perfect opportunity right now, especially with COVID, to heal. And I pray and hope that this um, helps somebody today.